Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to the final episode of season three of Blue Exorcist. It's gonna get started in three, two, one, go. See, th this is what I don't really, I, once again, the love-hate relationship to Shima. Like, seriously. Boy, he, I, and I get it, he has to play the two sides. But it, it's like now when he's alone with somebody, that's when you really have to watch him. Not when he's around everybody else. When it's either him and his own mother effing thoughts and, so, and with somebody else. Because this boy over here... Is he's playing both sides and he's doing it really well, but he's doing it a little too fucking well to the point that like even I cannot tell when he's kidding around and he's really like nah, I'm being serious about this. And in this moment, like you can tell right there, like he was being dead ass serious, but at the same time, you just like yo. May as well. Show me. Uh, I I don't either. I really don't. Because it just feels like we've gone from bad to worse. See? Look at Dead ass. Dead fucking ass. Are you kidding? You can't say the ish that you just said and be like, oh my god, are you alright? Screw you. Right, because did this some crazy ass? You say that though.
but you have it. You've had he's had it for like the longest time though. I just don't trust him, though. That's the thing. That's not a question I'll be asking him. You a damn lie. See, he he's a Switzerland. He's not on neither of their side. He's on his own fucking side. That's too much. Oh, my God. Yeah, because, you, you know, you're playing both sides, once again, too fucking well. You're going to end up getting yourself killed. Right? Because how can any of them, after all this, have any fucking trust in him? It's like he's, he's not only getting off on it, it's his high. You might have to, but at the same time.
Right. No, you're not. Right, you definitely need it. Yeah, are you just going to continuously make things awkward for all three of you? Oh my god! <laughs> it's all. Right. It's just a question. We're being a little cautious right now. Right?
on what? Oh my god. He's fucking idiots! Oh my god! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, it's okay. Because, yeah, you know, you're going to have to talk to him about this.
I don't like the fact that he's distancing himself from Rin because he needs to talk to him about this. <sighs> it, it's just making it even more complicated. But of course, we're not probably going to see the conclusion of this until the next season, of course. And thank God it was, like, today confirmed that it's getting another season and such. But, see, because, okay, here, here's my thing. Let's go all the way back to season one. And we got into the anime-only arc where Yugi, um, Yuho did get possessed. Honestly, we're talking about that. So we're kind of making the anime-only filler technically canon in this situation that yeah he can also get possessed that yes he still has something inside of him just as much as his brother does but i feel like once again it's at a worse level than rin is and whatever else it is yeah it is a life-threatening thing so if i could say one thing like yes this season was really good on Izumo and her you know just giving her pretty much all of the main character focus focus that we needed because ever since season one she her and shima the two most mysterious characters that we did ask knew nothing little to nothing about and it's just like all this truth is coming about out about them now shima once again like his new nickname is flip flopper because that's exactly what he is a flip-flopper slash true mother effing feelings type of guy. I'm just fucking scared about what the fuck we're going what what we're gonna have to deal with with yukiho in the next season that that's the biggest thing because it is going to be a lot like i, I might look at him a different way after it i mean because I'm, I'm already once again looking at shima aka flip flopper a different way because like he, he he's really good at his little oh one minute I'm a little I'm I'm a nice guy next minute I'm a, you know I gotta talk about Lord Lucifer and it's like that but there are times like I said he plays it a little too freaking well like I said he really gets off on it he has a high on it he loves that thrill he loves the chase of it so he's going to continue it no matter what but I feel like that's going to be his downfall. Like, I do I think he's going to die? No. I feel like something is going to happen to him where, like, somebody, don't know who, one of these two sides is going to be looking at this little mofo a certain type of way. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure when, but definitely the signs are there. Because, once again, playing both of them sides a little too fucking well, in my opinion. Mm -mm. I just as of right now, I am I'm, I'm like I trust you, but I don't fully trust you. I I would want to work with him, but I would be very cautious. So I can see why Bond is like I I trust you, but I don't trust you. I don't like the fact that Komakadaru like immediately went back and put all of his trust and wanting to continue that friendship because once again, looks can be deceiving. That fucker can just fuck you over again. I'm just saying, even though, yes, he's a spy. Too fucking well, motherfucker. But no, this is a really good season. So if season four, or um, yeah, it has to be season four. Season four is definitely going to just be, you know, the Yukiko story in a nutshell. Or he's just a lot more in his backstory because now he is the mysterious character that we, we know about, but we just don't know all the other things that he's currently going through as of right now. Unless you're a manga reader, but you know, you know. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to read towards the entirety of season three of Blue Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys not officially next Saturday, but the following Saturday for the start of spring anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.